Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So as you can see from the map right now, this is kind of the status report of where everything's at. We've kind of cleared the Red Reapers out of the middle part of this map here, and the forces the Red Reapers have on the ground are in a little bit of a disarray. However, things are about to take a turn for the worse, as we've spotted their Overlord dropship re-entering the system again. It headed straight for the valley and dropped in right here, depositing its mechs right behind our lines. In order to help reinforce the situation, we decided to commit the first static defense unit. However, we did have to drop it far to the east here, and they're going to have to cross the mountains on foot. Okay, the march in the valley has taken quite some time, but it looks like the Red Reapers have sent um, some units up here to stop us from reinforcing our base, so uh, we're going to have to deal with this. Now, just so you guys know, this is a uh, three and a half skull um, battle in the Highlands. So I have no idea what to expect here. Oh, okay, isn't that nice? Nidhogg, well, this could be really bad for us. If they're all flyers, we're in trouble. Um, but you're going to notice that we've got a few... Um, oh shit, Goss Rifle. We've got a few additions to the Lance here. And I'm hoping that these things are going to pay off for us. So we've got a new mech pilot, Metal Arc Lemon. And if you don't know who Metal Arc Lemon is, go look him up on YouTube. Um, so he's piloting a Hollander. Uh, now this mech I actually picked up through a an event, which is that one where it's like, you know, you, you go and you buy this rare animal, then you trade it for a, a mech. I ended up getting a, this Hollander out of it. Now it wasn't laid out like this, it, it just had a single Gauss rifle in it. So I spent a bit of time um, changing it around a bit. I got an, had an LBX-10 with some cluster ammo, dropped a medium laser into it, bolt-on rockets, some mine dispensers, and it's got an AMS as well. So, um, yeah, uh, what I want to do is I want to add a thumper artillery to this thing. But right now we're going to run with the LBX just for a bit. I'm afraid to move up because I have no idea what to expect here from these guys. Uh, let's move into here. I'm rolling. I think we're going to focus all our efforts on this Nidhogg to start. I mean, it's the only thing we can see, but still, I think even if we could see other people, this thing's got to go. Wow, I can't even... Uh, Target that thing. 25%, that's not bad. Let's keep this up. So a lot of my mechs now have mine dispensers as well because they're so cheap. So, all right, nice. A little bit of damage. Not a lot, but a little bit. It's a good start. Um, Ready for orders. So, the Rack 2 that we had on this mech, I took off and put an Ultra 5 on. I'm finding the Ultra 5 is working a lot better than the Rack 2 is. The Rack 2 had very minimal damage. Going full throttle. It did have a slightly better chance to hit, but at 8 damage per pop, it was really not doing much. So, this at least gives us some long range, relatively hard hitting firepower. We've got lots of ammo, we've got enough for 18 turns of continuous fire at double shot. Um, yeah. Didn't hit. Okay. Yes, Commander. Oh, Nakumba. She's the one that I want to hit with, but she's out of range. Let's stay along the side here. Cloud Buster does fairly well against uh, flyers, so. Commander. All right, outcast. So we got an LRM twenty, LRM five on here. The ammo loadout in this thing has changed a fair bit. Um. Okay, let's move up to... Sure. Copy that. I mean, we can't move any farther than that anyway. So, let's just... Are you outside of sensor lock range? What I'm trying to do... I think you're outside of sensor lock range. Yeah, you're outside. Where's my line here? Relatively short, I think. Usually it kind of gives you a faint white line. I don't see it here anywhere. But Nidhogg's out of range for sensor lock. What I want to try and do is get sensor lock on a lot of my guys. So the loadout on this particular one, uh, we've got Typhon ammo, which is basically um, an enhanced uh, AOE effect damage ammo. Um, and we've got some chaff on here. We've got incendiary. 
Uh, and of course we've got a little half a ton of thunder. Let's go ahead and fire at this guy, I think. Why are you not giving me the... Oh. Because i got to target him, that's why. Hit him with some chaff and some incendiary. Yeah. One incendiary, one blinding flare. That's good. Ready for orders. Gonna slowly Ready move up my mortars. I don't think we can we target this guy with a mortar? I think we can if we use air burst, yeah. Perfect. This guy's got so much armor. 800 armor. Like it's just I don't know what we're gonna do. We gotta get close so we can use the tandems on that guy. Ooh, that looked like it did a lot of damage. That looks like a vehicle. So this is three and a half skulls. I was expecting, like, mechs and stuff, but we don't really have that. So we've got an AMS Mark II. This is a, another one that changed here. We had a normal AMS in this guy before. Changed the loadout slightly. Uh, I believe was able to get a light engine in this thing. So this is the Urban Knight UK 9000. Um, it's supposed to be a melee... Uh, version of the urban or the urban mech but um, I've kind of shied away from that went with an MRM build on it it's more of a direct fire platform but it's really can't carrying the AMS and if I need to go melee I mean I guess we could but because I can't it's got vibro sword and everything on it. built in all right let's hope we can get some damage on this guy where do we hit Ooh, a lot of front damage that's good damage everywhere that airburst did pretty well. All right, well, uh, we can't target him with anything apparently, except for the AMS. But uh, all right, we're done. We are done out of MRM range. Nice. I think that was a thunderbolt, if I'm not mistaken. Ready for orders. I think you've got airburst as well. I'm pretty sure you do. Um, no, you don't. Oh, yes, you do. Perfect. Lower chance to hit, though, but that's fine. Taking the shot. Nice. Okay, he might go down a lot faster than I thought he would. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Of course you are. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Where though? Probably back here. When I tried to, I, I could have placed myself down anywhere on these mountains or over here, but I was like, yeah, it's kind of unfair. Just, I could just, you know, walk forward, Ready for order. blast the whole valley with mines, and then like leave it at that. But um, I didn't want to do that. Moving to position. It's kind of cheesy that way. Can I go to flak mode here? Uh, I can't target that guy if I do. It's out of range. It says I can target him with the... Yeah, I can't. Even if I go to flak mode, I can't. I guess I have to have... I guess I have to have proper ammo for that. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, we got lots of ammo for this thing, so... I'm going to drop... I saw a vehicle move down into here, so I'm going to drop around into here. Firing on target. It didn't go anywhere near where it was supposed to go. Damage is minor, Commander. Oh, uh, pretty close. I wonder if I—I uh, I guess I can't damage that thing. Waiting for orders. Let's get you moving quickly. We have a line, a good line of sight. Nice. Going full throttle. So I've been using this urban, this urban tank with the LRMs to do a lot of frontline work. That and the Cloud Buster. I'm losing my voice here. All right, fire. Whatever we can do to get a few rounds through. They got 14 of them. Hopefully, he'll run out of uh, run out of AMS. All right. So the other vehicle we have now is a Chaparral with an aero system. Now this thing kind of works counter to what my primary loadout is. Um, let's get you here. Because the uh, arrow system, whether I use guided or standard, um, it will, um, come on, 
Can I shoot it? No, I can't. It will clear minefields. So this thing is not really designed to be used um, against most of my targets. You have my attention. Yeah, and apparently you got the Nidhogg's attention too, so we got to get sensors on. So I'm going to move you up over here. I'll do what you ask. All right, we got some. We got some sensors. It doesn't like look like Pirate Marsden Chariot, Tandem Rocket Ten, Thunderbolt Fifteen, and a Medium Rifle. A Nova Cat Pirate. Ooh, that's interesting. Chandru. Bunch of rockets. See, this is supposed to be three and a half skull. A fleet. Why is it so garbage? Panzer Haubitze. How it's your tank? How it's your 2000, huh? Alright, we can indirect fire that guy. Uh, which I probably sh Well, can I get the large lasers in the Nidhogg? No, it's not possible. Oh, hey, that's. Here it is, here. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to go this route, I think. Uh, let's Warlord early. And then we'll go straight into it. Yep, that's fire. Uh, I can't remember why I've got a better chance. Oh, I know why. Um, so this Urban Mech uh, turnaround has actually got her skill with Urban Mech up a lot higher. Um, and at 20 rounds of play, you get plus two targeting with the right arm. So that's why the right arm is, is higher than the left arm for, for chancing to hit. I'll do what you ask. Beautiful. Yeah, you should be panicked. We're coming for you, buddy. Yeah, bring it in. A little closer. Ooh. Ouch. That was a CT hit, I think. We gotta try and take him down this, this turn. Metal Lark Lemon. It's funny, because this guy, when I got him in the, uh... In the, um... What's it called? The, uh... Oh my god. The stables. Where you get the mech pilots. Um, when I picked him up, he was like... His just name was just, was just Metal Lark. And all I could think of was Metal Lark Lemon. So <laughs> I had to change his name to Metal Lark Lemon. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Just go look him up. I, I, well, I guess I probably should. Because I, I want to talk about him. It, he was a uh, Harlem Globetrotter. I think it was back in the 70s. And when I was a kid, we used to watch the Harlem Glowtrotters on TV all the time. My dad would always put it on. And I, I, I always thought they were like the best basketball players ever. You know, they were great, don't get me wrong. But I know that half the teams that they played were like, just kind of goof, let, letting them do their goof around thing. Alright, so it wasn't you that got hit. Yeah, we really got to get rid of that guy. Let's get down here. My way. So we're at least hidden from other vehicles and such. Let's go after you with the air burst, 72%. Beautiful. Come on. Okay, significant damage, looks like. Half armor gone. A lot in the front gone. Down to 18 on the front. We can probably take him this turn. The Cloud Buster should be able to get close. Orders. Alright, Karak's still behind the hill here. So let's get our targeting on... Oh, that was an Nidhogg right there. I wish you could go back. I wish you could, like... I wish you had a way to tab back. Alright, let's just fire on this guy. Beautiful. There it is. Gone. Vehicle down. Now they don't stand a chance. Order. It's game over for you guys. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for showing up. Are you at a... Oh, not out of range. Got a lock. Beautiful. Alright, switching over to Thunder. Thunder and Chaff. And let's just apply liberally to this guy. And Beefeater. 
Oop, he can see you, so let's uh get down in the valley. Moving out. So we've got ballistic targeting on these guys. I don't know if that's any better than because it gives you plus two to hit. I don't know if it's better than indirect. I'm trying to find indirect ones. Two e, two RE medium lasers, ATM three pirates, flamers. This guy's not really a threat. You should just apply the minefield straight across here. Standing by. Let them enjoy trying to get to us. Uh, I want to try and pull this guy's legs off in one turn, so let's put a mine dispenser down over there. we got plenty of these spread across so many of my mechs, so let's just drop one in there. I'm out of short range missiles. So I've been discovering, like in the offline play that I've been doing with these guys, because these guys require a fair bit of money to, to keep going. Um, there's been instances where I've done like 90 damage I'm here. to legs. And I was like, wow, like 90 damage. <laughs> 90 damage to the legs. Where is the... Oh, it's back. Here is the shot. Uh, let's just move up. I, I'm hoping to get some speed on this guy eventually. I, I, need, I think he's running a 50 core right now. I gotta get a 60 or a 70 or 80 core. And then it's a little bit faster. Because a 1 2 movement speed is pretty lousy. <laughs> I mean, these guys back here, it's fine, but this guy. gotta be a little bit better. Alright, well. Let's just keep you out of the way and get back down here. Let's start. Targeting this Panzer House. Where is he? Chantreux Panzer House. Here we go. Panzer Haas. Standard or guided? Well, guided slightly better. Acknowledged. Yeah. Whatever. Negative damage. I can see that. Good to go. All right, let's keep it. Let's keep it on uh, Inferno. Locking on target. Nice. Because even if we miss, the vehicles will be sitting in fire and they'll take damage, so... Alright, you're going to have trouble moving through here, but that's fine. I think we got too many mechs here. At three and a half skulls, I was hoping for like a lot of stuff. Like, not what we've got here. I mean, the Nidhogg... If they had two of those, two or three of those, we'd have been in some serious trouble, I think. If they closed, they had those bomb mines or something. I wonder how much damage this guy's taken. It says 19, it's a lot more than that. Pretty sure it's more than 19. 29. 30. So that was pretty low, but we didn't have all of our minefields shot on that guy, so. Um, I want parts from this guy. Probably. I've been considering going after the stealth armor for my rear line guys. Let's just go on. I'm on my way. Let's just go here. And I don't know where we're going to be engaging them, so not, I don't want to drop a minefield here. We may have to push in to go after them, so let's just take a po couple of pot shots on this guy. Those are both leg hits. At least it looked like they were. Inflicting heavy damage. You are. You are. It's like I was, like I've been saying, I'm trying to crank up the difficulty here. Okay, air burst. We want to switch to. Now I have to decide where I want to drop my minefields. I don't know if these guys are going to move up. This guy's got plenty of fast gam. Let's see if we can... That guy's out of range, eh? Chariot. This is... It says 10T. Oh, 10 Thunderbolt. Okay. That would make sense. Um... Hmm.
What do you say we just drop some... Uh, yeah, well, yeah, just drop some guided on this. So I've been having success with using acid mortar rounds on heavier mechs and dropping massive minefields at their feet. This guy is so bizarre looking. Because the, the acid increases the damage, so when the mines go off, right, the, the guy's taking more damage. Um... Let's move to the trees. It's going to be harder for me to hit, but if they shoot back, we'll have more defense and I got less chance to hit this guy from here. I look like one leg hit. Like this uh, Urban Mech, Urban Knight 9000 is very underwhelming. There's the benefit right there, the AMS Mark II. I can't fit it in on any of my other mechs, so it works fairly well on this guy. Alright. Acknowledge, Commander. Maybe this will be the choke point. Depending on what they do next turn. This guy moves forward. This might be this might end up being the choke point. Now we just put mines in here. Dump all the mine dispensers, like everything on this guy. I'm gonna fire my rockets too. Maybe we get lucky. Ooh, we might take that leg. Yep, we did. Is that it? Hopefully it was just the leg. Ha, you like nice. SRMs are out. That's fine, man. That's fine. Get the cloud buster up there. Take that guy's leg off. Alright, um... Let's go with some incendiaries. I'm gonna fire at this guy here. Maybe we get lucky and take that side. Nope. Nah, that's alright. That's alright. That's alright. Alright. Been having with set having success with guided ammo on legs. Engaging when that when target. mechs go down too. My bail out. I think I hit something good. Standing by. All right, Ultra Five. What can we shoot at? That's another vehicle back there. Onward. Can we hit that range too? We can. Let's do it. All right, we got one on there. I'm out of SRM. That side. Look at that. Yeah, baby. 10 from 10. Nice, he missed. Okay, who do we got next? Receiving you. Oh, Buster. How far can we get? I cannot get to see that guy's legs. Alright, well, let's just get up into here. Stay behind the hill here. We can force our way through this valley and into the uh, into the big valley. And get to the base. Hopefully, we can hold off the Red Reaper attack. Yes, Commander. It's going to get worse before it gets better. All right, let's see if we can get this guy here. Confirm. Ah, all you need to do is hit close to him. Come on. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage, Commander. Okay, let's get over here. Hopefully they'll come out and challenge her. I think I still want to drop it on this guy, though. Like, we might get extremely lucky, I doubt it, but... Well, yeah, that's fire anyway. Aye, aye. We got lots of ammo. Ooh, we did hit once. Scored a critical hit. On that side. Standing by. Alright, hot dog, you don't need to move. Just drop an arrow back here. Let's go with guided. Here it comes. Target. Yeah, it's another miss. No joy. Follow me. I've been having tough uh, 
tough times trying to hit with that vehicle. Maybe once in a while it lands a nice shot, but for the most part, oh yeah, right through the minefields. It said 8, but let's see what it was. Yeah, 21. Yeah, like it's just, the minefields are just ripping the legs off everything. Uh, yep. I know that I know that they're designed to do that, but I mean, I got you. It just seems so broken. But then again, I, I don't think the Rogue Tech people thought that, you know, I'd be running the game or someone would be running the game like this. Or maybe they did. And they just don't care. I want to go with tens over there. I have no idea where these guys are going to move. That's the thing. Ballistic. Um, yeah, let's let's just do it. I mean, I got plenty of mines. Let's go after this guy. I got you. My short range missile. So there's around. two mine dispensers, 15s, and two 10s in there now. I think the mine dispensers give you like a 50% yeah, chance of them going you. off. Okay, let's move I'm up moving. here. Now, I know I can go after this guy, but... Got mines delay. Okay, two hits. Nice. So if he moves, he's pretty... Well, he's dead now. Is he? Or no? If you had any sense, you'd retreat. Nope. If he moves, he's dead. Alright, let's go over here. Let's switch this to... This is why I think that fast cam ammo should be Roger that. like nerfed because this is like ridiculous like if I had more fast cam ammo than what I have then I, I'd be going oh, he's dead I'd be going after assault max honestly now if they get a direct line of sight on me I'm screwed right it's over there's nothing I can do about it Moving to but position. They have to get a direct line of sight on me for that to happen, you know? Um, yeah. That was like right under the arms. Oops. Sorry about that. I thought it was under your arm, but apparently not. Wait. They didn't take hits. It looks, it says they were hit, but they're... Take, they're taking no damage. Huh. That's interesting. Yes, Commander. Alright. Uh, let's switch this over to Thunder and drop some of the Nova Cat. Oh, he's got a laser AMS. Sounds like a laser AMS. See ya. <laughs> it's just so broken. Yeah. I love it and I hate it at the same time. I've been able to pull off some stuff with these guys that I, I, I don't it would have been I would have taken so much damage with other other people. I just don't even need to like see the enemy most of the time. I missed. Just once or twice just to pop up, fire my mind dispensers, and then just go behind a rock, you know, and wait for them to kill themselves. Alright, take on this flea over here. Because even, like, my chances to hit are pretty darn low with most of the time with my direct fire guys, right? Reporting critical hit. I'm trying to figure out what other kind of mechs I can add to this that would kind of stay within the same flavor as the urban mechs. The Hollander's not too bad. Because, you know, it looks, it, it's like a, it's basically uh, mech artillery, right? Let's try for it. Most likely we'll kill him, but... Yeah. Oh well. Destroy the stealth. Oh well. He had to go. So the chariot hadn't been hit up until now. So let's have a look and see what he's got. Where is he? Yeah, so he didn't move very far, didn't take very much damage. 
Vehicle, it's great when you when you open up a vehicle. It just All dies right. so quickly. As soon as it's got its like the armor's gone, it's just done. Ah, let's wind these up. It's just a flea. Let's try and take them out. Copy that. All right, one hit. Some machine gun rounds. Receiving you. All right, let's try and heat up this uh, Nova Cat pirate. Wait, the Nova Cat. I was thinking Nova. This is the 70 tonner, isn't it? 70, 75 tonner? Ooh, wouldn't that be nice if we got this thing? I've only got three parts though, and I need five for to build a mech with these guys, so. It would be very difficult to actually pick that up. Receiving you. But might be worth trying. Alright, your battle's over. Let's sprint forward. See if we can get some direct line of sight on people. Confirmed. Uh, can you hit him with anything but the arrow? Nope. You're done. Because as soon as I... If it if it hits or misses, it's still stripping all the mines away. I can't have that. I'm fucking up the map again. Sorry, guys. There we go. Goodbye. You are not getting out of that minefield with your legs. You've moved too far. Alright, we don't need to move out. There's no reason to. Actually, let's just see what we can do with the mortar. Eh. I'm trying to save as much salvage as possible. I think that was 46 it said. Ooh, firing on the chaparral, eh? Find out here in a second. Yeah, probably around 46 or so. Yeah, somewhere in there. So, not as much as I thought it was going to be, but... That's alright, we got more. Just keep uh, reapplying. This would have been different, like, Order. I was expecting, um, everybody's out of range for the sensor lock. I was expecting, um, more mechs. And I wasn't expecting to be playing in this narrow valley, so this actually turned out really Still easy for us. Remaining. Unfortunately. Ready to rock. Like I said, I'm trying to crank things up a bit, and it's hard to do that when we get, uh, easy missions. I'm not going to engage at 70 tonner. I'm not crazy. Well, I'm crazy, but not that crazy. Here we go. There you go. A little bit of salvage. Tango is trash, Skipper. Thank you. Receiving. Like her. Well, like her very much. Let's get up close here. Keep the front guys covered with the AMS. All right, let's get that mortar going again with the fast cam on this guy. Copy that. Damn it. Oh, that was perfect. I don't know what you're talking about. Waiting for orders. Damn it. What are you talking about? Yeah, let's not get you in a direct line of sight to anybody over there. That would just be bad. Once he hits the ground, you can move up and try to shoot his legs off. Yeah, he that, that mech need, that mech needs more speed. By. Copy that. Okay, let's get you off that hill a little bit anyway. Um, Pirate Marsden, two LRM fives in Iraq two. This guy. Locked on. Trying to decide whether I want to land um, land an infernal round on the Nova Cat or go after that um, chariot. 
Oh, he took like 22. Yeah, nice. Thunderbolt's useless. Your thunderbolt is useless. Order. Let's get you off that hill. Going full throttle. I'm just moving this vehicle forward because it's got the SRM6 and the medium lasers that I might need. Commander. Oh, Nikumba. All right, let's uh, not engage that guy. Good to go. Hmm. Let's drop some heat in here. Yeah, I t that chariot took a ton of damage on the side that there. No, it did not hit, but they're all in fire, so that's all that matters. Um, yeah, it's almost like armor's almost completely gone on one side. This guy's this guy's got a hell of a lot of armor, but it's slowly coming down. Slowly. Tell me what you need. I need you to get the hell out of the way, hell out of the line of sight. I'm on the move. Thank you. Back over here. You got a mortar, use it for some use it on somebody. This guy. Um, sure. Hey, yeah, you got them both. Nice. Yes, Commander. Alright, well we're down to incendiaries now. Um They're still out of range for sensor locks, so let's just uh apply a bit of heat to this guy, I think, and the chaff. Chaff's more important, I think, overall. Knocking on. All right. Uh, yep. The other trick too is the fact that he's got a laser AMS. You can use it against him if you've got a lot of, um, if you have a lot of mechs with like LRM fives or like LRMs, and you What's up, come up against a, a mech that's got uh, laser AMS that you're finding hard to take out. Roger. Don't engage it. Just move away. Hide behind stuff. And then just constantly hit it with LRMs so the laser AMS is always going off. And then it just overheats itself and then you <laughs> just move up and kill it. I actually did that to a Raven in one of the other uh, offline playthroughs. The pirate Raven had a, uh, um, a proto laser AMS or a pirate laser AMS. And I just pot shotted it. Okay, how much is he going to take here? 58. I bet you it was more than 58. Oh, no, maybe about 58. Still, he's he's got a couple more turns before his legs are gone. They will be done. Um Yeah, he can can he see you here? I don't think he can see you there. But let's be safe and move further oh, down the hill ah. slightly. Nice. I don't think we've got any dispensers left, except for the. I think we got some dispensers and the mortar guys at the back. Yes, Commander. But they need to be in direct line of sight for them to work. So let's just move over here. Uh, yeah. Um, we might get lucky and take that side. No. Just slow and steady. You don't have to. I don't have to do much. Thank you for wasting your thunderbolts on me. I appreciate it. The guys at the back would be uh, Ready for orders. better targets, but whatever. I just have a seat. You can wait Good right fun. there. Oh, it was you I shot in the back. Whoops. My bad. Good to go. Yeah, just hold on. Stabilizing and bracing. Ready for orders. Let's drop some more heat on this guy. Roger that. A little bit of damage, but better with the heat. Nice. Yes, I hear you. Uh, I'm going to start reserving because that guy's going to move. And then we'll have an opportunity. Actually, be, you're going to fire though. Is he in range for this? I don't think so. Oh, he is. I've got a sensor lock. Thank you. I don't know if his evasion changed or not, but we got a lock on him. Let's uh, go ahead and fire these. All 
Alrighty. Ready to rock. And that's going to be a reserve. I'm hoping when he moves, and four. his legs have almost nothing left. I'm going to reserve you. Roger that. Stand and then I can just pop, poke out and rip them off. Yeah, he's pretty much done now. Uh, AMS is jammed. Damage minimal. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, he knows he's done now. He knows he's done. Reading loud and clear. This is taking a huge chance. But we're going to do it. Because it's time. Let's go up to the leg. And firing. Copy that. Nice. Inflicting heavy damage. I'd love it if he just bailed out. Good to go. Could you imagine if he bailed out? That would be so great. More mines. AC2 ammo depleted. That's it for the fast cam for that guy. And mess is. Oh, that's a mortar, I think. I was going to say my AMS is still jammed. But it's hey, the same turn, so he probably should be jammed. Alright, uh, your turn. On my way. Yeah, see, we got a bolt-on rocket launcher on, the, on this thing that we haven't used yet, too. But I'm too far away to use it. That's why we need to get some stuff on this mech that's going to get it in close. Like, i got to better get a better core on this thing. So, AC-10 Imperator, that's not bad. There goes the leg. The Cobra strike. So the reason why that wasn't 45 damage and it was 52 is because one of the uh, acid rounds loadouts that I've got on one of my urban mechs. What's up, Doc? Uh, not acid loadouts. One of the loadouts I have on one of my urban mechs is an acid fast cam. So the mines go off, do damage to the legs, but it also uh, applies acid. So it's got a good chance of... Um, Upping damage for everything else. Alright, can we get you to a place that you can see him directly? We can. Oh, well, right there. Maybe with the medium laser and the SRM 6, we might be able to apply a little bit of damage. This pilot's not that great when it comes to weapon targeting, but. Alright, looks like we got with one. Yeah, we're doing about 10% more damage, it looks like. Not bad. Not the best, but not bad. Take that. Go after the leg, and that's a pretty good chance to hit. Copy that. Come on, bail out. Bail out. Critical hit. Not gonna bail out. We can't get full salvage off this guy now anyway, even if we had five oh, that guy's gone. Standing by. I gotta keep you in the trees in case that guy does get up. Don't think it'll I don't think it'll happen, but if he did get up, it could be bad news for us, so. Come on, leg, leg, leg! Don't crit the engine. That guy's not even panicked yet. Commander. Oh man, do I just Try for it. Well, might as well light the rest of the valley on fire, sure. Waiting for orders. Do I stay indirect with this or do I go direct? I might apply too much damage if I go direct though. Move order received. Great chance to hit. Let's do it and hope we get it. Who are you? Come on! Solid Guys! On that one. Leg, leg, leg! Orders. Alright, you got guided rounds. 21. Come on, leg him. Oh, for crying out loud! Targets, take 
Beautiful. Oh, that's even better than I could have imagined. Or I could have hoped for, I mean. Skipper. I could have imagined better, but... Better than I hoped for. This guy's got a crap ton of armor, so we're gonna have to just pound him. Alright, let's just pound this guy. I'm listening. Sounds good. I'm listening. I don't know what that auto cannon is that he's got on there. It could be a Gauss rifle, which could be really bad for us, but I want to try and front load as much damage on this guy as possible. Still don't know what it is. Locked in on the car. She's got really good sensors too. So I'm shocked that she doesn't can't tell yep, me what it is. Alright, guided ammo. Here it comes. Locked on target. You know, for the longest time I was a, I was a, kind of Order. against mortars, which is ridiculous because these things are actually pretty darn awesome. As a support weapon, like indirect support weapon, they're pretty are they're pretty awesome. Waiting for orders. The fact that they do almost the same damage as like, you know, a um, like an LRM system, but can't get shot down. They're not affected by AMS. It's pretty good. I, I'm really enjoying that. All right, let's just apply damage. Come on, bail out. Orders. You know you want to bail out. Roger. That's a hit. Nice. There you go. Ejected. <laughs> nice. Mission successful. So I was so terrified walking in this one because it was three and a half skull. I had no idea what to expect. But the fact that it was Hanseatic League probably tipped it in my favor. Um, we took a little bit of damage on some of these guys, but not much. Now, as much as I want to go ahead and just go after this 70 ton Nova cat unfortunately it's not going to go with the play style of these guys and I, I'd love to be able to just ship this off to one of the other my other playthroughs but I can't do that the Nidhogg the same thing is as great as this thing is it's just not going to fit with the play style so I'm going to have to leave it out um, but I got to find out what I want to do about some of this stuff, like the Howitzer 2000. It's only 35 damage. Area effect, 30, 30 area effect damage within 60 meters of impact. Cannot be fired at flying targets, okay. So that could be, wait, how much did that weigh? 10 tons, that could be the Hollander weapon. This is 10 as well, isn't it? 9 tons. The good thing about Thunderbolt, unless you're using high explosive, it doesn't affect... Um, it doesn't affect the minefields. So maybe we go with a, a Thunderbolt. The LBX was kind of nice, but... Um, Stabilizing gyro would be nice. Glazed clan armor. Minus 12% armor weight. Resistance to energy based attacks. Resistance to minus. Yeah, I'd go the other way. If I could get armor that was resistant to, to ballistic and less to energy, I would go that route because I could put that on my back line, guys. Because mostly they're, they're taking indirect fire. And it's mostly ballistic, not missile. Oh, ballistic and missile attacks, so it's the same. Yeah. But I also need the Pharaoh on them because I, I, I've got very limited weight now. I've got tons of double heat sink kits that I can't use because they don't I can't get like with the Urban Max, the slow ones, I can't get eight double heat sinks in them. So the double heat sink kits are really useless on these slow mechs. They just they can't can't do anything. So regular Thunderbolt ammo. How many rounds is this? Four shots. So it's only eight shots. I'm going to take it. 
LRM Typhon ammo as well. So this stuff's actually not that bad. So the, the range missile damage goes down, but it does area effect damage within 45 meters and two area effect damage to units in radius. So it's good if, it, if I get a cluster of enemies to drop some of this stuff on it. And I've only got one ton, or I have a half ton, I think, in the urban mech that's got it. So, I mean, it's not a lot. Actually, you know what? I wonder if we take this because then we can use it on the MRM loadout f and use it against vehicles. God, there's so much stuff. I should just take a double heat sink. Stabilizing gyro gives me sure footing, but who would... Okay, Grant's entrenched after walking. See, I... The thing is, is I'm running XL gyros on all the, all the guys that I can get it on. And I got a double XL on one of them. So, the light engines, I think I've got, I don't have any in stock, but most of the, most of the guys have all got light engines right now. I might just take that. Because if we get cored somewhere along the way, like this is kind of cool too, cool shot. Minus six heat per turn. Activates automatically, eh? Deactivates when 50 heat damage taken. Or activates when 50 heat damage taken. Deactivates below 20% heat. Minus 35 heat per turn when active. 10% failure chance, yeah. Yeah, I mean, still that's kind of a pretty cool thing. Helps prevent uh, enemies overheating you really, really, really fast. Pirate LRM-5s. No, I think that's the way I want to go with this. And then we'll see what we get. Hopefully we get some Nova Cap parts. I'm not banking on it, but like I said, it's not really... It's not... I if I was just playing just this Urban Mech series and I want to do advanced, sure, but these guys, I want to try and keep them all in the same kind of vein. So let's just confirm this. All right, I got a Marsden part. Ghost Rifle M9... Plus 30% range, plus 30 range to all brackets. So that's not really... I mean, I've got a Gauss rifle, but I don't need the extra range. And no one's going to use it anyway. Cindery rockets. Quarter tunnel. Hang on to that, because I can actually, I think, use that on one of my mechs. Maybe. Light rifle can go. LRM-5 pirate. 10 heat. Wow. Ditch that. M-pod can go. The 120 core. We've got one, so we can drop that one. Standard heats that can go. Heavy Pharaoh will hang on to it. Rifle ammo can go. You can go. We got the MRM tandem. That's awesome. I think I will drop that on the other. So we'll have improved and tandem depending on who I shoot at. I can go after Max. It'll be improved. And then. Yeah, and then vehicles we can go with the uh, tandem. All right, so I didn't make out too bad, I guess. I mean, we got a couple of extra items that are okay. All right, I'm going to go into the mech bay here before I end the episode because that mission was actually a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. But let's go into the mech bay here um, before I repair this guy. We're just going to have a. I'm just going to quickly go through and show you what kind of what we have on the mechs right now, and you can get an idea what what, what I'm running with here. So they actually got pretty good loadouts on most of these guys. So with this one, we have um, this is the primary mech, gyro XL light engine. We've got the industrial TSM just so we can carry the bolt-on mortar because the bolt-on mortar is eight tons. So I needed to add that in there. Advanced zoom. We need to get better optics on this guy. But this mech has got a pretty good chance to hit. We've got plus 40, uh, 40 meter sight range. Um, energy accuracy. Pair of large lasers. I moved away. I had a PPC in here, but I moved away from it because it was destroying minefields, right? So the regular large lasers um, obviously don't do that. And they're a little better than the ERs because they've got less heat. They do less damage, but... And have less range, but overall they have less heat. Sensor trackers, gunnery support B, just to give this mech a good chance to hit. And like I said, we've got a 170 core on this to give it the speed that it has. Um, and I was able to get a double heat sink kit in here because I can fit four heat sinks in here. The problem is, like I said, once you go down lower than this, it becomes increasingly difficult to fit more in here. So. Uh, this guy, this was the guy that's we got a little extra tonnage left over. I was going to put that rocket launcher on here, but I don't think I can. 
I wanted to get another uh, thing in the CT here, but I have to lose the industrial TSM to do that or take out the XL gyro. And either way, then I just, I, I can't, I just diminish the mech overall. So I thought about pulling the small, la pulling out the small laser, putting in a medium and dropping this slightly, but I don't want to drop armor off it either because this guy's one of the frontline mechs and I need to have max armor on it. So we don't like, you know, lose out on stuff. So it's kind of stuck the way it is until I can get, I don't know, another way to, to rejig things a little bit. So that's this one. And then um, the LRM one is just straightforward. It's the same idea. I'm not going to really go into there, but it's got the sheath beacon on it just so it stays hidden. Uh, indirect fire control system on it because it's not meant to be in direct line of sight with anybody. XL gyro, bolt-on rockets for close point defense. And then, like I said, the Typhon, like a half ton of most of the stuff except for incendiaries. Medium laser for backup, regular AMS for backup. Um, and then our mortars are, these two are pretty much the same. Each of them are the same. The next two are, are the R59s, which is just the mortar eight and then ammo. We got a medium laser on it and a mine dispenser as well. Um, so I included the mine dispensers on this one because I didn't, I, I mean, I could have put a tag or whatever on this, but this guy's not really meant to be direct fire. And if it does need to go direct fire, I want to be able to apply more mines. And that's what it's for. It's just a, if I if I need to apply more mines, I can do that. I can step up and, and fire some more into the battle. But as you can see here, double heat sink hits are a write-off. Like I can't, I just can't do it, right? There's no way to, to get a double heat sink kit in here. I can't I can't replace eight, <laughs> eight regular heat sinks with eight double. Now, if I can find a compact heat sink kit and enough compact heat sinks, it may be worth trying that, but these things run so cool that, like, you know, I don't have to worry about it. 3027, and they're not really moving, they're standing still. So, anyway, it's got an active probe as well, beca just because, <laughs> you know, Com Suite helps resolve with everybody uh, ballistic accuracy, which I'm hoping this is considered ballistic. I know it's a mortar, but I'm hoping it's considered ballistic. I, I, don't, know, I don't know how to tell if it's not. Um, Maybe if you guys know, let me know in the comment section if it's, if I need to go indirect with this. Um, so yeah, this guy and the next one are pretty much the same. The R59 down here. This is the one with the Ultra 2, or sorry, Ultra 5, which is actually working better than the uh, thing. I got I had a thing, a hard gel too, so I dropped it in the arm here because I don't want to lose the Ultra 5. So if we get hit in the arm, at least I can use the cheat and get... Uh, <laughs> Re restore six armor and two structure um, to the arm to keep it alive and plenty of ammo. Mine dispenser 15 there and there. 55 core. I was hoping to upgrade this to like something a little faster but I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Um, standard ferro. I mean we could probably get maybe he heavy ferro in there. I don't know. Uh, so this is our MRM build. This is the one with the double XL engine. Um, We'll just get this guy repaired as well. Just got some internal damage. But yeah, AMS Mark II on here, hot seat cockpit, uh, Sentinel, Sentinel sensors, uh, which really help out for frontline units. Uh, we've got a mine dispenser and a Exostar medium laser. And it has built in TSM. I can't get away from that. Logged and, and then the Hollander. So this is the one, uh, like I said, I got this. It cost me a million C bills, um, but it was a full mech. I, I normally I would need five pieces of a Hollander to get it, so uh, it came with Ferro and Endo. I dropped a light engine in it, and then the same amount of heat sink stayed the same. I just put a mine dispenser in each arm and it and the LBX in the center and the uh, torso here with the ammo. Now I, I'm trying to get. I don't think I've got Clan Ferro. No, I don't. But if I do get Clan Ferro, I'll drop it in here. But this is the one that you know. Definitely want to put in, like this is 10 tons or 11 tons? 11 tons plus 2 tons of ammo. So I need to pick up uh, 2 more tons of Thunderbolt ammo and then I'll put the Thunderbolt in here. Because that will give me 16 turns of firing. And the only reason why I want so many turns of firing is because um, if I'm going to be going up in difficulty with these guys, I need to have staying power because they just don't they don't have the firepower to bring down large mechs unless we can stay in the battle for a long period of time. Then the vehicles, Chaparral, like I said, just the aero system. It's got uh, 
enough for 15 turns of firing, Cloudbuster, urban, and then the two urban tanks. So yeah, I mean, that's the load, that's our loadout. We don't have much in storage either. I've been trashing most of the stuff that we get simply because it won't be playing, it won't be, you know, um, it won't be uh, part of the playthrough. So this guy's got uh, two LRM5s and a Rotary 2. I'll probably just trash that. Yeah, 100,000, so. We've been making a fair bit of money off scrapping everything. But as you can see here, I don't have much. I'm saving the Toad. If I run into more of these guys, I'll put one together and then get rid of it. Um, but I've been just saving up parts to put stuff together. Obviously keeping the Urban Mech parts, Cattle Master will probably go, but if I can get like a, you know, like an old Clint, like a Centurion, because it's got a ballistic hard point, these guys have ballistic hard points, or an old Archer, um, I'll put it together and then have to work on getting that updated. At least then it's it's kind of part of the playstyle with the Urban Mechs. It's like their artillery, right? So that's kind of what I'm going for. The Centurion, maybe drop a mortar in it. Same thing with the Clint mortar or direct fire AC or something like that. But that's what I'm going for, just so you have an idea what these guys, this playthrough is going to be. We can only get one more mech. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. I won't, I'm hoping it's another urban mech, but because I'm going up in difficulty, I'm having trouble finding them. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop your comments in the comment section down below. I'm interested to hear what you think about the loadouts, other possibilities. Um, those mine dispensers across all of my mechs are really helping out with moving forward, like moving up, um, because the LRM mines and the and the uh, fast scan mortar mortars aren't enough to, to take on higher level opponents, you really need those mine dispensers just to fully saturate an area with mines uh, to be able to do damage. And you got to find good choke points because that's really where it, the, those mines shine. If you're in an open open area, it, it, they're, they're, just, they're just wasted. You can't, you have to be able to fill an area and hope most of the mechs walk through it. But you know, until next time, we'll see you later.